All right. Is it recording? Okay. I literally put my phone and had it record a video of the camera because I don't have a viewfinder. So if this is out of focus or off center, I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, hey guys. Um, so welcome to kind of a new type of video. I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to do on my channel just because I don't know how many topics I'm going to want to like sit down and talk for. But I wanted to talk about like kind of a cool little mystery conspiracy thing that I found really interesting and my friends and I ended up going out and trying it so I vlogged that so I wanted to give a little bit of a background. It's like a really old thing so I've had this script, the script, it is on my computer. Oh my god she's cheating. Uh, <laughs> I've had this script sitting in my Google Drive for a year and a half because I was originally going to make this into like a conspiracy podcast over quarantine before I realized I had no idea how to mix audio at all, so there's that. Um, but anyway, in case you had guessed from the title, I'm going to be talking about the app Randonautica today. So, like I said, I was going to do this for like a conspiracy podcast over quarantine before I realized I had no idea how to mix audio. Um, so I thought, let's vlog it, because I at least I know how to do that. I, I swear I do know how to do that. Um, but I did like seven pages of research into this app because I found it like super interesting. Of course, I did all of this research like summer of 2020 when I was in quarantine. So again, I'm very late to the trend, but it's fine. We're posting this anyway. <laughs> I'm super, I'm a professional. Um, anyway, yeah. So I wanted to explain a little bit about the app's usage, how it works, why it led some random kids to like somebody's remains. Look it up if you don't believe me. It happened. It was weird. I don't even know all about that because that was that occurred after I did all of this research. That was the whole time. Anyway, um, so I have this script because I have like a horrible memory and I really don't want to leave anything out. So if I am looking over here, I'm looking at a script. I'm sorry. I, again, have a terrible memory and I really don't want to like leave something out and then have someone in the comments being like, meh, because I can't handle rejection. Anyway, <laughs> so in terms of origins, the app was originally created in 2019, but it like spiked in popularity. I feel like I should move this. Is this in the camera? I don't know. <laughs> I need a viewfinder, man. Anyway, it like spiked in popularity in summer of 2020, presumably due to COVID and like the subsequent closing of literally everything. So no one had anything better to do than like drive around to random coordinates, which like I drive around randomly anyway, but like I'm, I'm not normal. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> so the people who use the app frequently, who call themselves randonauts, use it to like, allegedly, break the simulation of reality or change their destiny. These are things that people said when they were talking about the app, when it was like in its height of popularity. The science behind how the coordinates are generated is surprisingly complex, and considering I'm not a science person, and I was also listening to the masterpiece that is the album Fine Line while doing the notes for this video, I... <laughs> It's fine. I can multitask. It's fine. Um, it took a bit of reading for me to kind of get a grasp on like what exactly was going on and how everything works. So I'm going to try to summarize it the best I can. Um, this is like a four page script, so it's fine. I'm, I'm going to talk a lot is the moral of the story, but like when do I not? The app uses something called a quantum random number generator, which like everyone abbreviates to QRNG, um, which is essentially just like a truly random number generator. And so the QRNG they use is from Australian National University's like online server, which has a website, I'll link it in the description, along with the website for the app if you guys want to check it out yourselves. It's actually pretty fun. Um, I'll get into that later, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so like I said, not a science girl, but from what I understood, it's pretty much a server that harnesses quantum energy in a vacuum to generate a stream of truly random numbers. And they measure the fluctuations of the particles in a quantum mechanical vacuum in order to generate ultra high bandwidth random numbers. If you see me looking over here, it's because that is directly from the website. I don't know what any of that means, but you know, if you do, I'm really happy for you. I'm very proud of you. I don't. Um, on Australian National University's QRNG server website, they provided links to two scientific research papers that kind of supported the evidence of truly random number generation and explained how the server worked. The first paper was published in 2011 by three authors. I'm going to read their exact, like, what they were listed as. So they were listed online as T. Simuel, S. M. Assad, and P. K. Lamb. Um, they'll be on the screen here. Or here. I don't know. Uh, 
I was going to read the whole paper, however, I was about to spend $30 on a subscription fee for a paper that I would probably not understand anyway. So, they provided an excerpt which kind of summed up everything with the following quote. We demonstrate up to 2 gigabytes per second of real-time random number generation that ve were verified using standard randomness tests. And then the second paper was published in 2015 by seven authors, so hold on, <laughs> that were listed online as J.Y. Haw, S.M. Assad, A.M. Lance, N.H.Y. Ng, um, sorry, V. Sharma, P.K. Lam, and T. Smule. Um, I'm really bad at pronouncing things. I'm very sorry if I messed any of those up. Unfortunately, it also required a subscription fee to read, and this paper basically offered solutions for the technical noise found in a QRNG, um, which and proposed some uses for quantum random number generation, including, quote, <laughs> vital importance to crypto cryptographic communication and large-scale computer modeling. So this app uses all of this science stuff to give you a truly random coordinate, something so out of your daily routine that you would never actually go to normally, that could apparently, like, break the fabric of, like, the simulation of the matrix, glitch you out of reality, you know, that's what they say. So this also means that some unlucky participants could end up with a point that's, like, on private property or in a lake because it's all completely random. So that brings us to the second aspect of how the app works, human influence. Everyone pull out your manifestation journals, we're getting real now. So, the creators of the app believed very strongly in the power of the human mind. Um, they believed that if you set an intention before generating the point, that point would lead you to the thing that you set an intention for. Like I said, manifestation. For example, I saw a video from TikTok user Sluglexa <laughs> where they set their intention as um, my mom's lost dog and lo and behold when they showed up at the location there was a dog. I don't know what it says about me that I'm using TikTok as a source. Um, yeah, that's probably not great. Anyway, um, we're moving on. I Obviously my first thought when I heard about this app was like I have to try that. But before I set off, uh, I probably fucked up my hair doing that. Before I set off on my grand adventure, I felt it was important to make sure I wasn't walking into any sort of danger. Because, like, I'm up for a sketchy adventure, but I really didn't want to get my friends killed. I feel like they would haunt my ass for the rest of eternity. Um, but honestly, everything that I found said it was fine. The app itself is, like, perfectly safe as long as you are safe about using it. Like, don't break into private property. Don't go hiking into a cult meeting in the woods. Like, you know, be smart. Use common sense. They also keep all of your location data completely anonymous and they delete it after 24 hours. So it's essentially like a less interactive Pokemon Go. So like, do with that comparison what you will. <laughs> that was a lot of information. I talked very fast. I hope that that made sense. Um, I know earlier I said my friends and I went randonauting and of course I vlogged it because I'm obnoxious. Um, so, part two of this video is the investigation, if you could even call what we did an investigation, because I, this was not scientific, okay, um, I'm just going to shut up and let you all see for yourselves what happens when my friends and I all drive around, but don't be surprised if I, like, pop back in every once in a while, because I don't think I'm going to get much coherent content from this, but it's okay, it's fine. Hmm. All right, like, no, we have to do an intro. You died. <laughs> you died. <laughs> Opening sentence. All right. Sentence. This isn't a court scene. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, I have some questions, some cursory questions. I need to do introductions, and then I'm gonna explain what we're doing. Um, but I'm already gonna explain what we're doing in a different segment. So we're going random nodding. Um, okay. Everyone, introduce yourselves quickly. I'm Lyle. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone else has already been on the channel. Yeah. I think. All right. Well. Well. <laughs> well. well. <laughs> All of them. Except for him. <laughs> so she's so she <laughs> We can say hi. We can say hi. All right. Hi. Again, um, I know who you are. Hi, I'm Liv. <laughs> All right. Four. If, 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 if you hear them, if you hear them calling me fifty-four, it's because L-I-V is Roman numeral. Fifty-four. Roman numeral. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is gonna be such a bad vlog. Okay. Um. So basically, I'm gonna ask you guys a couple questions about Randonautica. I'm gonna turn my car off actually so I don't waste gas. How, <laughs> how much that? about Every the app do you guys know? I know, uh, we've done it before. Jack shit. We're gonna talk about random nodding. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna kinda go around a little bit and ask everyone's like opinions on how it works and all that stuff. So like you guys does it, everyone knows 
about Reddit. You know about Reddit on it, right? Yeah, okay, so um, the whole premise of like the app is that it can be influenced by human like thought. You know, it can be influenced by your thoughts, the intentions that you set. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think it actually works? Do you think it is just random completely? Because it's a quantum random number generator. So what are thoughts? Any thoughts? I think it's just probably like random, but it's fun to think that it's manifesting. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Is that the kind of general consensus? Yeah. Okay, I know. same too in all really the times I've gone. Right. This will be my fourth time going. <laughs> no, fifth, because I went with you guys. Oh, I'm so cool. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I downloaded the app. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do our first coordinate. Um, as always, I think I'm just going to do keep doing. Uh, um, <laughs> I think it's attractors or anomalies. Oh, one of the A words. Super well. <laughs> Um, I'm one of the one of the A ones, and I'm just gonna keep doing that um, because those are the most powerful. And I think we're gonna set our radius for 50 meters because I don't want to drive 70,000 hours. Okay. <laughs> I think this is off center. I'm sorry. Ow. I'm back <laughs> with some more information on how the app works. So when you request a coordinate from this app, it provides you with like three potential options for types of quantum points. So they are attractors, voids, and anomalies. I forgot the last one, sorry. Um, so the attractors are like areas with a large amount of quantum points in one area, and the voids are essentially the exact opposite. So like there's very few quantum points. There might be like, there, well, there's going to be one because if they're going to send you there, there's a quantum point. But like it's just one really strong one as opposed to like a whole bunch of them. And then anomalies, which ended up being the ones that we like chose the most often, are the most powerful. They didn't actually write down that. Okay, so the anomalies are the ones that are supposed to be the most susceptible to influence by human thought. So that's kind of what we did as we were trying to like manifest what we wanted to see at that location. So that's the one we use the most often. So Back to video. Church. Yeah. <laughs> what about church? This is how it is. You okay. Know how at church, they'll go like this. <laughs> yeah. We <laughs> have to decide on an intention. I don't know what's happening back there. No the app is so intention. stupid now. They change it to you need owl tokens to generate things. And I only have 30. <laughs> She's recording. <laughs> She's been recording. <laughs> wow. I thought she stopped. Oh, okay. I'm fine. I, she I swallowed. I'm, I'm having trouble swallowing. Um, <laughs> no, I don't need vitamin water. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so we need to decide on our intention. What do we want to manifest? Probably something physical. That way we can test if it actually works. An animal. Okay, what kind yeah. of animal? Oh, we have to be specific? <laughs> I mean, we should probably be A specific. deer. This A deer. Ohio. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. Realistically, deer wouldn't be out at this time. Yeah, yeah true. Come out. Janie and, and Kate, Janie and Kate and I tried to manifest a cat. Okay, we'll do a dog. And we can yeah. pet it, dog. hopefully. Okay, Maybe. all right, so we're going to do a dog. So what do we have to look do? We have to okay, um, I shouldn't be back here. Right. <laughs> shouldn't be. So this is where we ended up. Yay. <laughs> There's no dogs. Pure technologies. There's no dogs. Technology. Um, which is not surprising for the first couple of points. I mean, when I went the first time, we didn't get anything for like an hour. That was interesting. And then we ended up at a really cool place though, so... Hang on. We will get towed if we see this. Thank you. Okay. Whoa! So I'm gonna find a better place. Are we David? Um, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna try to find a better place to park and then we'll do another right. point. Um, we're in this really rich neighborhood, <laughs> and there was a dog, and had now I'm trying to find somewhere to park so that I can... The boys are back! The <laughs> boys are back! <laughs> so that I can, um, I'm generate another point. As you should. This isn't a very good vlogging angle. Yeah, it's a good Right, but it's like strangely... Hi, Jack, a golf cart. It's like Fortnite. Step one. Step one. I need to park. Steal a golf cart. Step two. Step two, go on golf this course. Nice, like, and Step three, class for find the point. Like, right here. Step, Step four, four, try not to get arrested. Thank you. <laughs> you should be like, all right. I'm just gonna. He seems like the kind of guy. <laughs> all we found is a weird chair. Weed chair. Weed chair. Weed chair. It's a pretty red. Oh, I love that yellow. Can we go up the hill? Sure. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Weird. Weird. Oh, I zero. We haven't really found anything. Anyway, we are we 
haven't really found anything good. So I'm gonna take them to this one place that I found last time I was random nodding, and we'll see if we see any good like stories there. Because Yay! apparently, like, there's, there's a tree that like looks like it's not Thank you, man. And anyway, Thank you, man. there's Trump yeah. flags. Anyway, that's yeah. all. Goodbye. Me too. We need to find some more to pee because I have to pee so bad. Um, and I'm then bad, we're gonna go to that one place. And we sell loaves. Okay, I'm not gonna right do right that. Right, right on the flow. <laughs> what the fuck is it? What the fuck do you want? Hold I'm on. the fucking, fucking manager at the bread store. Anyway, bread. Um, we're gonna get a I'm, uh, We're gonna find somebody to go to the bathroom and we're hey, trying to go to IKEA. We don't have any of those. So crowded. The, the, the line is like the there's a line to get into the store. So I don't care if it's free. So we're gonna go to somewhere to go to the bathroom and then we're gonna go to that one place. Recording. We're going to a Wendy's to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Lyle goes, I want us to seem as much like as much of a cult as possible. <laughs> Megan's right here! You want to say hi? Oh, hey. Say hi. <laughs> <didn't see> <laughs> Where are we going to Are we holding hands on the way to the Wendy's? You're skipping your hands. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> <laughs> like named for Prince Harry. What? Uh, is he named for Prince Harry? No! He's just named he Harry. To name Harry. He's named Harry. <laughs> he, as a baby, decided he <laughs> wanted to be named Harry. I wanted to be Harry. Oh, oh, okay. She like, just spit on myself. Did you say she talked to mushrooms and cheese? <laughs> 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 um, anyway. Work. Um, anyway. Anyway, <laughs> no, it's not, the, the random nodding is not going well. It's not. We it's stopped at a subway. We got a subway. Because we're so, pro subway. <laughs> one, pee break, pro subway. One, one pee break and one almost car accident later. <laughs> it was no Megan's fault. Know, no know. It was my fault. <laughs> All right, I made the mistake of moving the camera. So again, um, if this is out of focus or off center, I'm really, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I hope you can forgive me at some point. So I'm not entirely sold on the idea of your thoughts being able to influence a quantum random number generator, but despite my doubts on the integrity of the app, it was definitely a really fun investigation. And I feel like that's kind of more of the point is like to leave with a story to tell, because that's kind of what we were manifesting for at least part of it, you know? Um, and this was definitely one of the more interesting things I've investigated. Again, this wasn't really an investigation, but don't worry about it. So, what are my final thoughts? I think Brandonautica is a strange app with a strange purpose, but I don't think there's any problem with going out on like a random adventure with your friends every once in a while. I don't really think that your intentions can influence quantum waves, um, but it's undeniable that there was like a lot of weird coincidences online. You can find a lot of them under the hashtag on TikTok, under the Reddit thread, like there's a lot of weird coincidences that fuel this app's interest and mystery, you know? And either way, it was like really cool. It was fun. And I would honestly recommend trying out the app with your friends. It was a fun afternoon. I know now they've kind of made it so like you have to pay, cause you know, capitalism, um, for like a certain number of points. I haven't had it in a while. Again, I'm very late to this trend, but um, it, was, it was interesting. I would recommend it. I love driving around anyway, so like, Maybe I'm biased, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to know next time I upload a video. I feel like super, it feels so weird, like, like and subscribe. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know how to end videos. I'm just going to go. Goodbye.